Hello my friends, nice to see you today. We have the final lesson about making tablecloth shintaya. So today is the final lesson number six. If you are watching this uh, just lesson for first time, you can watch previous lessons at our YouTube channel. Very soon I will show you this YouTube channel, you will see everything. We are making tablecloth shintaya, in total 12 rows. Uh, in this photo you can see transition of colors. So. This, uh, this is one of the variants that I made for our workshops and uh, I really like to use yes, different colors and to change them and just um, it's really fantastic to make something like this. Also I prepared a tablecloth shintai only in white color. I used for this work Italian viscos. You can find all schemes and photos at our uh, free crochet patterns group. I will show you now how, how you can find this group, how it looks. So just one second please. Uh, we have free crochet patterns group, looks like this. Uh, the, name, uh, the full name of the group is free crochet patterns by Jetty House Crochet School. And here you can join to our group and after how to use all these learning materials. On the top of this page you can see such video. Uh, this is video instruction about how to use all uh, free courses, uh, free schemes and workshops. But uh, also today I will sh show you how to use our group. You need to press photos after choose albums. And each album is about one project, about one lace, about one motif. And we have a lot of pages, uh, just uh, you need to use buttons at the bottom and you will see another projects, another elements. You can choose some elements that you will like, for example this motif Lotti. And uh, you need to open this uh, album, here you will have everything about this one element. So you can see here we have scheme, you can download the scheme and work with it. And also you can find... A video about this element Lotti at our uh, YouTube channel. I will show you now this channel. It looks like this. Jetty House Crochet School. And now you can find here a lot of beautiful elements, projects, uh, all lessons for free. You can just watch uh, this all tutorials. And let's find just this Lotti. We have here um, you can see the same photo, photo of the same element. You can open this uh, workshop and just uh, see how to make all yes, these beautiful elements. Once again, we need to refresh the screen if you have some problems and just uh, watch how to make this element. One second, we will see now. So I am showing you here how to make this element. Also, next uh, you will see schemes here we have I just explain step by step how to make all these stitches what stitches we have here so you can see everything schemes also a live video how to crochet such element and how to create such beautiful motif at your home so I hope you will use this video and uh, also schemes to make these all motifs okay so let's see again this free crochet patterns group. Once again I will show you. You can choose any of these motifs and uh, watch a video tutorial, video just record of workshop on our YouTube channel. Uh, also now we have tablecloth shantai, so here you can uh, download schemes for this. Tablecloth, yes, some uh, beginning, yes, uh, not full scheme. Today I will add a new scheme and you will have chance to download it. Also you can see here results of my friends. We have different colors, just fantastic work, works, yes, you can watch and just take some inspiration from this group. So once again, free crochet partners group, join to our group and just uh, use photos after press albums and you will start to see all these beautiful projects. Ski uh, just about threads I will tell you now. I am using white Italian viscose, so this is the most beautiful threads. All the time I am using such threads for my crochet projects, crochet dresses, and I used this thread for many years. I really enjoy to work with such thread and I, I am sure you will like it too. So let's uh, make the last rows of our tablecloth together. And uh, I am using crochet hook uh, 1.75 millimeters. This is my favorite crochet hook for this Italian uh, viscous yes, threads. Also, I am using needle with big eye just to hide all tails. And um, next, um, 
We have a full scheme for our tablecloths now, and today we will make row number 12 and row, sorry, row number 11 and the last one, very simple row, it's row number 12. So, uh, we finished our previous row at this point, we made 16 loops and after slip stitch, uh, now we will make few slip stitches, uh, next uh, a little bit, uh, we need to move up a little bit, so we will make few chain loops and move up, and after um, treble crochet, and again few chain loops to move up, and we will go to this direction, yes, so will be nice. So let's start, I will show you my hands and we will make this beautiful table clothes. I see new comment from Sue. Hi everyone from Sue. Really nice to see you. We have the final lesson. I am very happy that you joined it. Thank you for your comment also. And uh, now we have this white ta table clothes. Today we will make the final yes steps. Uh, this row around yes this leaves. This two final rows. Also I will show you with uh, transition of colors. Uh, during this row I uh, just uh, joined together the same uh, colors, so this beautiful golden brown and uh, these two rows I made by using this only this one color. And step by step you can see this transition of color. So we have beautiful yellow, also orange, and step by step uh, transition to this beautiful brown color. In total 12 rows. And I will work, uh, I see, hi, uh, hi from Linda. So I iron in this uh, row number uh, 10. So we have such beautiful leaves at the corners. And now we can continue to work. I will remove this pin and start to make a new, new row. So we have this slip stitch in the end of this row. And now uh, I will make uh, slip stitches just to cross some part of this chain. So I will insert hook now to this first chain, insert below two threads, yarn over and make a slip stitch. Just make it slowly, not too tight, is very important. And again, to each chain I will make a slip stitch like this. Insert hook, yarn over and make a slip stitch. And again. So in total I need to make five, yes, uh, five uh, slip stitches. I will leave only one chain and now we need to make I think four chain loops to move up. Let me see. Yes, one, two, three, four. Next two times yarn over. Around the next arch make treble crochet. Uh, yes, finish to make the stitch. You should have only one loop on your hook. Next, switching loops to move up. And this will be our beginning. Now we need to move to the left side, so we have 16 loops more. 3, 4, 5, 6. In total I made 9 chain loops. And now I need to make 5 times yarn over. 3, 4, 5. Make them close uh, to the top of the hook. I see a comment, very beautiful, thank you Vanya, thank you so much, I'm very happy that you like it, thanks a lot. Now we will work with these long stitches of previous row, to the first one insert hook below two threads, yarn over, make a loop, next yarn over, draw through two loops, again two and again two. Now stop and make just do two double treble crochet to the same point, don't finish the stitches during the work. So I made first double treble crochet, again three times yarn over and make, make second double treble crochet like this, don't finish the stitch. Yarn over and join three threads, three loops together, yarn over and draw threads through two loops, yarn over and draw through two loops and the last two loops, yes, we have such stitches. And now 16 loops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 16 loops. We will make the same combination of stitches, uh, just uh, we need to skip one long stitch, go to the next one. 5 times yarn over, 3, 4, 5, make them close to the top of the hook, skip this long stitch, go to the next one, insert hook below two threads, yarn over, make a loop. Now yarn over and draw through two loops, again two, and third time. Now you need to stop, three times yarn over, go to the same point, make double treble crochet, just don't finish the stitch. 
again one two three times yarn over make again double treble crochet to the same point and don't finish the stitch now yarn over and draw through three loops on your hook yarn over and draw through two loops two loops and two just you need to finish this long and interesting stitch uh, now again 16 loops one two three four five six after five times yarn over three four five make them close to the top of the hook again skip one stage go to the next one insert hook below two threads and make a loop after yarn over and draw threads for two loops again yarn over and draw through two loops and third time now make three times yarn over insert hook to the same point and make double treble crochet don't finish the stitch and again three times yarn over and make double treble crochet don't finish the stitch and now yarn over and draw through three loops yarn over and draw through two loops two loops and the last two and now we will uh, work with the middle stage here so 16 loops three four five six five times yarn over three four five make them close to the top of the hook skip one stitch and go to the middle stitch that we have in this beautiful leaf insert hook below two threads yarn over and make a loop yarn over and draw through two loops two loops and two now uh, three times yarn over insert hook to the same point make a double treble crochet just don't finish the stitch again three times yarn over go to the same point and just make double treble crochet now yarn over and draw through three loops on your hook yarn over and draw through two loops two and the last two and we have four combination of stitches the same now we will work with this side and make we will make everything symmetrically so four five sixteen loops five times yarn over make them close to the top of the hook skip one stitch go to the second one and make like this three times draw threads for two loops now double treble crochet to the same point and just don't finish the stitch again three times yarn over make double treble crochet to the same point now yarn over and draw through three loops yarn over and draw through two loops two and two again 16 loops three four five six five times yarn over three four five next skip one stitch go to the next insert hook and make yes like this three times draw threads for two loops on your hook after three times yarn over insert hook to the same point make a double treble crochet and once again make double treble crochet and don't finish the stitch now yarn over and draw through three loops yarn over and draw through two loops two and two now the last time 16 loops three four five six one two three four five times yarn over and skip one stitch go to the next one insert hook below two threads yarn over and make a loop next yarn over and draw through two loops two and two now stop make three times yarn over insert hook to the same point and make double treble crochet again three times yarn over and make a double treble crochet don't finish the stitch next yarn over and draw through three loops two loops two loops and two now we have this all beautiful stitches around our leaf looks really great and we can make next step this will be 16 loops now four times yarn over three four and now around the next arch just insert hook around and make a loop after yarn over draw through two loops yarn over and draw through two loops after this let me see i will see okay we need to start treble crochet around the next arch two times yarn over go to the next arch make around treble crochet just don't finish the stitch now yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook yarn over and draw through two loops yarn over and draw through two loops you should have two loops on your hook now and don't finish this all work leave like this two loops on your hook 
Now five times yarn over, three, four, five. Make them close to the top of the hook. Now we will work with these stitches of previous row, with these two stitches, one and second one. So take the first one. To the top of this stitch, insert hook below two threads, yarn over and make a loop. Yarn over and draw through two loops first time. Again, through two loops second time and third time. Now stop, make three times yarn over, insert hook to the same point, make double treble crochet, just don't finish the stitch. Again, three times yarn over, insert hook to the same point, make double treble crochet and don't finish the stitch. Now yarn over and draw through three loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through two loops and again two loops and leave like this. You should have three loops on your hook. Now again make four times yarn over, three, four. Sorry, I made mistake, sorry, sorry. So we just need to leave like this. When you have Uh, when you have uh, this two double treble crochet and this part looks like this yarn over and draw through three loops on your hook from here we should start again the same let me see three double treble crochet journey together to this point so three times yarn over insert hook to the next stitch of previous row make a double treble crochet just don't finish the stitch like this Again, three times yarn over, to the same point make double treble crochet, don't finish the stitch. Again, three times yarn over, make double treble crochet and don't finish the stitch. Now we will join these three threads, I think, to join these beautiful parts. After yarn over and join these three loops on your hook, yarn over and join two loops, yarn over, sorry, like this we should leave this, yes. these three points. Now, again, five times yarn over. We will work with next two arches, we don't need to use this arch. So we skip one arch, go to the next one, yarn over, make a loop. After yarn over, draw through two loops twice. Next two times yarn over and make treble crochet, just don't finish the stitch. Yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two loops. I think it's too, too big stitch. We need to start from four times yarn over, okay. One, two, three, four times yarn over, skip one arch, go to the next one, make a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two loops. Two times yarn over, go around the next arch, make treble crochet, don't finish the stitch, yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two loops, again two. In the end, we should join together all these loops yarn over and draw through four loops on your hook like this next 16 loops 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we have such part between these yes leaves and now I will again work with such leaf so 16 loops we have and next five times yarn over three four five make them close to the top of the hook insert hook to this long stitch of previous row below two threads yarn over and draw threads for two loops first time second time and third time now one two three times yarn over make a double treble crochet to the same point don't finish the stitch again double treble crochet to the same point and don't finish the stitch now yarn over and draw through three loops, next through two loops, two loops and two. Now 16 loops, three, four, five, six. Five times yarn over, make them close to the top of the hook, skip one stitch, go to the next one and make a loop. After yarn over, draw through two loops, two loops and two. Next make two double treble crochet to the same point and don't finish the stitches.
yarn over and draw through three loops, yarn over and draw through two loops, two loops and two. Now again, six chain loops, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five times yarn over, skip one stitch, go to the next one, yarn over, make a loop, next draw thread through two loops, three times, next three times yarn over, make double treble crochet to the same point, again three times yarn over, make double treble crochet to the same point. Don't finish the stitch, yarn over and draw through 3 loops, 2 loops, 2 loops and 2. And again 6 chain loops, make them not too tight, 4, 5, 6, 5 times yarn over, 3, 4, 5, make them close to the top of the hook. Now go to the central stitch, make loop, next draw thread through 2 loops, repeat like this 3 times, next stop and start to make double treble crochet to the same point and don't finish the stitch. After you finish to make two double treble crochet uh, you need to make yarn over, draw thread through three loops on your hook, yarn over and draw thread through two loops, two and two. We have, we have now half of this all beautiful stitches, now again six chain loops, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five times yarn over, skip one stitch, go to the next, Insert hook below two threads, three times draw thread through two loops, after make two double treble crochet to one point and don't finish the stitches. Now yarn over and draw through three loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through two loops, two and the last two. Now 16 loops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5 times yarn over, place them close to the top of the hook, insert, just uh, skip one stitch, go to the next one, 3 times draw thread through 2 loops, after make 2 double treble crochet to the same point, and don't finish the stitches. Uh, now yarn over and draw through 3 loops, next through 2 loops, 2 and 2. And the last stitch, again 16 loops, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5 times yarn over, 3, 4, 5. Insert hook to the last stitch in this beautiful leaf of previous row, 3 times draw thread through 2 loops, after make 2 double treble crochet to the same point and don't finish the stitch. Now yarn over and draw through 3 loops, yarn over and draw through 2 loops, 2 and 2. Now again we will make this difficult combination of stitches. This time I will try to make it without mistakes. I will try to make it better. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 chain loops. After 4 times yarn over, 3, 4. Next go around the next arch, make a loop, yarn over and draw thread through 2 loops first time. Yarn over and draw thread through two loops second time. Now make two times yarn over, go to the next arch, make a round treble crochet and don't finish the stitch. Like this. Next yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two loops and again through two loops. You should leave two loops on your hook and next make many five times yarn over. Three, four, five. Place them close to the top of the hook. Now we will skip one arch and we will work... <laughs> okay. It's not the same. I have the corner so that's why we should work in... Uh, we should just repeat the same symmetrically and uh, in the end we will join few loops at the top. So we have like this two stitches and we have two loops on the hook and now we should make the same. So four times yarn over, three, four. Next, symmetrically. So we will work around this arch and next around this one arch. So go around the first arch, make a loop, next yarn over and draw through two loops and again through two loops. Uh, next, uh, two times yarn over, go to, around the next arch, make treble crochet and don't finish the stitch. After, yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two loops, again two loops and now we can join everything together. We have three loops on the hook, yarn over and draw through everything by one time. 
So such combination of stitches you should have at the corner where we have two leaves. Now we will work around this leaf and we will repeat the same seventh combination of stitches. I see new comments, thank you so much for support. If you like this video, press like below this video. Thank you Pavlo for this like. Thank you so much. Next we have uh, six chain loops, three, four, five, six. Make five times yarn over, three, four, uh, four, five. Place them close to the top of the hook. Insert hook to the first big stitch of previous row. Make a loop, next yarn over and row through two loops, yarn over and row through two loops, and again through two loops. Now stop, make three times yarn over, insert hook to the same point and make double treble crochet. Don't finish the stitch. Again, one, two, three times yarn over, insert hook to the same point and make double treble crochet. Don't finish the stitch. Again, now yarn over and row through three loops, Yarn over and row through two loops, two loops and two. Now 16 loops, one, two, three, four, five, six. Make five times yarn over. Place this all loops very close to the top of the hoop. Uh, finish one stitch, go to the next one. Make a loop, yarn over and row thread through two loops, first time, second time and third time. Now make two double treble crochet to the same point and don't finish the stitches. One, two, three times yarn over, make second double treble crochet to the same point. Now we have like this loops on the hook, yarn over and row through three loops on your hook, yarn over and row through two loops, yarn over and row through two loops, and the last time. Now 16 loops, one, two, three, four, five, six, make five times yarn over. Place them close to the top of the hook, skip one stitch, go to the next one and make like this, three times draw thread through two loops. Now two double treble crochet to the same point. Again, three times yarn over, make double treble crochet to the same point and don't finish the stitch. Yarn over and draw through three loops, yarn over and draw through two loops, two and two. Now we will make the central stitch, so 6 chain loops, make 5 times yarn over, place them close to the top of the hook, skip 1 stitch, go to the middle one, insert hook below 2 threads, yarn over, make a loop, yarn over and draw threads through 2 loops, 2 loops and 2 loops, 3 times. Now make double treble crochet to the same point and don't finish the stitch. Again, double treble crochet to the same point and don't finish the stitch. Yarn over and draw thread uh, through three loops on your hook. Next two loops, two and two. After section loops, three, four, five, six, five times yarn over, three, four, five. Skip one stitch, go to the next one and draw thread through two loops three times repeat like this next stop and start to make double treble crochet first stitch after again three times yarn over make second double treble crochet don't finish the stitches yarn over and draw through three loops next two two loops two loops and two now six chain loops three four five six two three times five times yarn over, skip one stitch, go to the next one and make like this, next double treble crochet to the same point, first stitch, double treble crochet to the same point, second stitch, yarn over and row through three loops, yarn over and row through two loops, two loops and two. Now the last stitch at this sleeve, so three, four, five, six chain loops, five times yarn over, four or five, skip one stitch, go to the last one, insert hook and draw thread through two loops, repeat like this three times, after make two double treble crochet to the same point. Don't finish the stitches, yarn over and draw through three loops, two loops, two loops and two. Now one, two, three, four, five, sixteen loops, and now we will make this combination of stitches that I 
wanted to show you once again. So we will work with two arches after skip one arch and work with these two stitches. And next we will work with these two arches. And during the work we don't finish each stitch, only in the end we will join everything together. One, two, three, four times yarn over. And go uh, around the next arch, make make a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops, two loops, and now stop. Make two times yarn over. Around the next arch, make treble crochet and don't finish the stitch. Uh, now yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over, and once again draw through two loops on your hook. Now you should have two loops on your hook. We start to make this mm, nice combination of stitches. Five times yarn over, three, four, five. Place them close to the top of the hook. Uh, skip one arch, uh, go to these stitches. To the first stitch, insert hook and make a loop. After yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two loops. And third time, through two loops. Now three times yarn, uh, yarn over, make a double treble crochet to the same point, don't finish the stitch, yarn over and make double treble crochet to the same point, don't finish the stitch. Now yarn over and draw through uh, three loops on your hook. Uh, now again we will make three double treble crochet to the same point, First stitch, don't finish it. Again, one, two, three times yarn over, make second double treble crochet, don't finish it. Again, three times yarn over and make double treble crochet to the same point. Now yarn over and draw through three loops on your hook. Now yarn over and draw through two loops or three loops, yes. Yarn over and draw through two loops. And uh, now we should leave like this, three loops on the hook, and we will make like this combination once again. So one, two, three, four times yarn over, skip one arch, go to the next one, yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two loops. Now two times yarn over, start to make treble crochet around the next arch, don't finish the stitch, yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two loops, and again. In the end you should have four loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through everything by one time. We join it together all these stitches. Uh, now 16 loops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5 times yarn over, place them close to the top of the hook and just join the first long stitch. 3 times draw thread through 2 loops on your hook, after make 2 double treble crochet to the same point. Don't finish the stitches, yarn over and draw through three loops, yarn over and draw through two loops, two loops and two. And uh, now you already know how to make all these parts. At the corner we have only two combinations of stitches like this. At uh, the sides we have bigger, yes, combination of stitches. So be careful with this all work. And we have beautiful, yes, such seven parts around leaves. Uh, I ju just really love this part. And now we will talk about the last row, how to finish uh, this one, row number 11, and how to start row number 12. I will join you thread, just in the end I will show you how to finish this row 11 and start row 12. So now I need to make a stitch here, just I will make one more combination here, with double treble crochet.
I just fix the thread. Uh, don't uh, worry about this. Just to show you the last steps. And uh, now I will make 16 loops. 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, now we need to make this big combination of stitches once again. And we already have the last last part. So uh, we start from arches. Four times yarn over. 3, 4. Go around the first arch. Make a loop next twice. Draw threads through two loops on your hook. Next, two times yarn over, make treble crochet around the next arch, don't finish the stitch. After yarn over, draw through two loops, two loops and two. You should leave two loops on your hook. So we have such part, first one. Once again, I will make three, four, five times yarn over, go uh, to these stitches and once again I will start from the first stitch, insert hook to the top of this stitch, make a loop. Next, three times draw threads through two loops on your hook. Next, three times yarn over, make double treble crochet, don't finish the stitch. Again, one, two, three times yarn over, make double treble crochet to the same point and don't finish the stitch. Yarn over and draw through three loops on your hook. Now stop and start to make the same three double treble crochet to the next stitches of previous row. So make three times yarn over, insert hook to the top of this stitch and make double treble crochet again three times yarn over make to the same point double treble crochet and third time the same double treble crochet to the same point now yarn over and join together three threads and now yarn over and draw through three loops on your hook sorry So draw threads through three loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through two loops and now we should leave like this. Make four times yarn over, three, four, skip one arch in previous row, go to the next one. Okay, I understand, we have this beginning of the row, so we already have this part. So we just need to finish what we have here, we have uh, one combination of stitches and this one. Now we just need to join everything together and that's all. And now the last point, we need to fix uh, by slip stitch, yes, we need to join to this part and uh, we need to find third chain loop. So we have one, two, three, third chain loop uh, where we just made beginning, we just move up a little bit. So to the third chain loop, insert hook, make yarn over and draw through this loop. And one more. And we join it together this all parts. So in this way we finish it to make a row number 11 and now we can start last row and um, this row is very easy like edging with single crochet and picots. So I will check now how to start where, where we have the first loops. Okay, I see we have... I will check one second please. Three stitches and three stitches. Okay, I understand. So we have around this arch three single crochet, one, two, three single crochet. Next, picot from five chain loops, three, four, five chain loops. Finish to make picot. After, again, three single crochet just around the arch, like this. And now we will use this top part to make also one single crochet. So insert hook to the top of this stage of previous row and make one single crochet. And now all the time like this. Around each arch we have three single crochet, picot and three single crochet. Picot from five chain loops. So second half, three single crochet. And each time uh, we need to make one st single crochet to the top of stitch of previous row, like this. Now again, three single crochet around each arch, first, first part. After in the middle we should make picot from five chain loops. And again, three single crochet, one, two, three. And to the top of the stitch of previous row also one single crochet. And like this continue to make everything. One, two, three. And now picot from five chain loops. 
finish to make picot and second half of stitches three single crochet one two three around the same arch now to the top of the long stitch make one single crochet and again I repeat the same uh, we should make here three single crochet picot from five chain loops three four five finish to make picot and again three single crochet one two and three around the same arch uh, now to the top of this long stitch of previous row one single crochet and like this continue to make edging this is the last row of beautiful tablecloth shantai so I hope you will make the table close and show me your results. Now again one stitch to the top of this stitch of previous row. Again around the arch make three single crochet picot from five chain loops. And three single crochet one, two, to the top of the stitch make also one single crochet. Now we have this distance between uh, yes, between the sleeves. So just uh, you need to make the same around the arch. Three single crochet, picot and three single crochet. Uh, now we just need to skip this point where we join it all stitches together and just skip this part and go to the next arch and make again three single crochet and pick off from five chain loops. Don't forget to make stitch to the top of the stitch of previous row. And like this we should repeat the same all the time. Just picots, uh, not too tight everything and you will receive really gorgeous result. After you will finish this all work you need to iron everything, uh, stretch open and hide uh, tails. I will have in this tablecloth only two tails because I didn't change colors and um, you need to hide tails and really uh, really open this and stretch this all tablecloth and you will see a fantastic result. I hope you understand everything, I hope you enjoy this video, if you like it just press like below this video and I will be very grateful for your support. So during this all workshops we learned how to make a tablecloth shantaya, how to make all these 12 rows and uh, I hope this was really interesting for you to find out how to make this all long stitches, this all difficult combination of stitches and I will really wait for your result. Thank you so much, I will finish to make my tablecloths, also I will make photos and I will publish them on my Facebook page, also at our groups on free crochet patterns group so you will see also this one variant of tablecloth in this beautiful golden color it will be nice now I will turn my camera and show you the last pictures and we will finish this lesson I hope you enjoyed this uh, tablecloth to make it and um, thank you so much for your comments I see your comments uh, thank you Julia from Yolanta thank you so much and uh, Wonderful from Linda, thank you, thank you for all these smiles. Yes, very nice. And Susan also see your heart, thank you so much. And now just uh, the last photos. Uh, you can see here this last yes two rows from Italian Viscos, beautiful brown color, uh, how everything looks. Uh, also you can choose the size of picots if you want, you can use only 14 loops, not 5. You can change something if you want. Make everything not too tight, it, it's also very important because this is the last two rows. Uh, they should be not tight because you need to open them and stretch, so it's really important. Okay. Uh, so this is the last pictures and this is our, our result, yes.
Play by Klaus Shantai. Uh, this is the final lesson, so just once again, thank you so much for your attention, for your comments, that you visited all lessons that you are making this table close. I will wait for your results and I want to make a video presentation of your results when I will receive maybe four or five results. Also, I will finish my uh, this one golden and we will make a just small video presentation of your beautiful results. Uh, this will be a nice video for everyone who is afraid to start. Your results, uh, I am sure, will inspire uh, all uh, people to, who will watch this uh, yes video to make this beautiful tablecloth. Maybe uh, your, your colors, Yes, different colors uh, will be just big inspiration for another people. They will see different variants and I'm sure they will find some variants for their yes, homes uh, to, to make it just. Thank you so much and bye-bye, bye-bye for now.